The Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure raises funds to fight breast cancer and is fast approaching. Joining us, our Executive Director, Helen Chestnut, and Race for the Cure Chair, Mindy Hyde. Welcome, Mindy and Helen. Thank you. So we've got the race coming up soon. We're going to talk about that in a couple minutes, Mindy. But Helen, tell us about the Helen G. Komen. The Susan G. Komen, I mean, Missouri. The Susan, you're Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about you. Let's talk about Susan. It's all about me. The Susan G. Komen, uh, Missouri, which is different from the National Foundation that we all are, are well are aware of. of. Everybody thinks we're a very large organization, but Susan G. Komen, Missouri, actually represents 38 different counties, seven on the Illinois side, and 31 over on this side of the state, including the downtown or the city of St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And so people though, when they hear Susan G. Komen, they think of a large entity. Well, we're very small. We have a staff of three and great volunteers such as Mindy and the, our Motley crew that helps us get the job done. <laughs> yeah, but, but you're not Motley. <laughs> no. Right. Um, no. So, <laughs> so staff of three, but you guys, I mean, you're doing a lot of great work here in, in Missouri and this side of Illinois as well. So tell us about some of the things that you do and how that benefits. Um, so every dollar that we raise, 75% stays right here in our local area. And two, one of the things that we try to do, and one of the things that is our, our, our goal, is we want to decrease the breast cancer mortality rate by 50% by 2026. Now, what does that mean? Well, over 200,000 women are being diagnosed with breast cancer a year. 40,000 women are dying from breast cancer. That 40,000 have held pretty steady over the years. Well, we want to decrease that 40,000 to 20,000 by 2026. And you're talking about national numbers? Those are national numbers. Okay. Now, let's think about it in context for St. Louis and in the surrounding area. In St. Louis City and County, three women are being diagnosed with breast cancer a day. Wow. Four women are dying from breast cancer weekly. And of the women being diagnosed, over 34 are being diagnosed at late stage. And that's just in the city of St. Louis and the county. Wow. And mm -hmm. we, so we wanna decrease that, but to drive it down even further, um, African-American women and white women are being diagnosed about at the same rate, mm -hmm. but the African-American women are being diagnosed at a 40% higher late stage diagnosis mm -hmm. than white women are. So why is that? Well, so we look at that and go, okay, what seems to be the problem? How are we, where is that health inequity coming in? Mm -hmm. And how do we address that? And it, some of it can be just as simple as they're living in a spot where it's not easy to get to health care. Mm -hmm. And where are they going to get their health care? Now, the Affordable Care Act has actually addressed uh, some of the needs of being screened. But some of the women have that, have that insurance to get screened, but they don't have the insurance to do anything else. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women don't want to know because they don't have the money to address the diagnosis. Well, that's where Komen is. Komen stands in that gap with screening, treatment, and we have community partners that help us with that. So you are reaching out to the community yes. to, to provide these opportunities for screening, for treatment, that kind of yes. thing, at the, hoping to catch people at these earlier at stages. At the early stages. Mm -hmm. you know, because the earlier we get diagnosed, the better our outcome. And so our two goals are to to address the critical needs in our own communities and also then to address some cutting edge research to bring down that that rate mm -hmm. of diagnosis. And so primarily through funding for primary research? Through, that, is, that is our mission is to end breast cancer as a devastating type disease, but it is primarily we do from a local component we help address the critical needs as in the screening. So we have community partners that there is no reason a woman with insurance that is not get, paying enough or without should go without a mammogram. And we know the earlier that you get your mammogram, the better off the outcome is if you're diagnosed at an earlier stage. Mm -hmm. I've hit 11 years of survivorship. My trip was relatively easy. I knew where to go, I had insurance, but not every woman is, is fortunate to have that. Right. So we need to bring down those barriers, right. whether it's with um, not having money to make it to the appointment, maybe it's daycare. It, it, there's just so many different components that put up that barrier right, right. of treatment. So we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna mm -hmm. come back, talk to you, Mindy, about the race coming up in June. Stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with Susan G. Komen Foundation of Missouri after this break.